Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is July the 18th, 2023. We're going to talk about Tesla today because the price target for our recent price prediction in Tesla was hit. And now we need to try to figure out, is it still a buy? I may not drop a price prediction in Tesla until after earnings. You guys can see on the bottom of my chart that earnings is due to be released tomorrow, July the 19th on the close after the close. All right. So first, Look at this price action in Tesla. I did this original price prediction on June the 9th, 2023. Updated you all on July the 10th, and I didn't change anything. I was still looking for the market in Tesla to go up. Here's proof right there that you can do the same thing all without being confused. Nope, you don't need to add anything into your analysis. All you need to do is pay attention to the price charts. That is where all the information is. Yeah. Even when you think about hedge funds, big financial institutions, uh, pensions, 401ks, mom and pop, retail traders, everybody, their thesis, their idea is already here on this chart. Whatever they did to uh, formulate their thesis, their analysis, whether it's fundamental, whether it's listening to Elon, whether it's paying attention to how many Teslas were sold, whether it's talking about mergers and acquisitions, whether it's looking at Fibonacci retracements, stochastics, RSIs, whatever the case may be, when they actually pushed that buy button or that sell button, it was recorded. It's listed already on the charts. So that's why I only pay attention to price. Price is the only thing that everybody, all of the market participants has access to and that we all can see. There's no insider information that can be misconstrued off a price chart. That's why I tell you, charts don't lie. It is what it is. So that's why we just tell you about what we think price is up to or the market is up to off of the charts. So let me go ahead and get rid of this price prediction here in Tesla. Congratulations to those who was able to grab the bag. If you were to get on the close of yesterday, that's 18.8 percent. I'm not going to look for the market to ultimately tag 296 bucks like that's minimal. That's minimal. I'm not going to worry about us getting 20.99 percent versus 18.8. OK, cool. I can live without that. Let's go ahead and take that away then. So now here it is. This is the current trend into the market in Tesla, right? We're, we're definitely bullish in this stock. That's the first thing we're going to do. OK. We're going to go ahead and try to identify one thing is that earnings is tomorrow, right? And if I were to see where the market currently is trading in Tesla and to extend this line over to the left, I think you guys can actually tell that we may see price come down in Tesla. I just got finished doing a video for Amazon and the market in Amazon ran 67% since the beginning of this year. Tesla, 186%. Okay. And as you can tell, when we had earnings in Tesla, the market does react. Are we at that point now to where the market in Tesla is going to react negatively to come back down? Because it's been a great run. Like, let's, let's admit it. It's been a fantastic run in Tesla. Do you think the market's going to push up to 300 or 313? to these prior areas of resistance back in September. That's a logical thing to think about too. Let's take a look at the chart on a different time frame. Here's Tesla on the two day chart. And you guys can still see we're getting strength into the market at Tesla. I'm not going to be fooled to think that this market is still bullish, especially once we got a catalyst appearing tomorrow. If you didn't ride this market in Tesla higher, why jump on board now when you're in the sky flying? Here it is on the three. OK, eight hours and 45 minutes left. Like I said, I don't see any indications of weakness right now. That won't come in until after this earnings is released. Here it is on the five. OK. We have eight hours and 44 minutes left on this one. But again, this market definitely is still bullish in Tesla, especially off that five day. OK. Here it is on the weekly. 
two weeks, three, five, monthly, three and six, okay? So what I'm gonna do, from my current analysis, looking at the chart for the information we do have now, yes, Tesla is still geared to continue to go up. But the reason why I'm not gonna drop a price prediction is because people act emotionally, erratically, once new information is released. Tomorrow is when that information is gonna be released. And everyone who is invested, who trades Tesla, is going to react. And some of them might act abruptly, irrationally, because of what they think is either positive or negative. And when you have so many market participants doing the same thing, trying to digest information, the price is going to move. And for me, I don't know where that price is going to go until I see which side of the market the buyers or the sellers really is pushing this price. So I cannot do a price prediction right now. But you can. Give me your targets. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.